Good morning, boys and girls. I have a story for you this morning about Pharaoh and Moses. Now, Pharaoh was the king of Egypt at this time, and he was very rich and powerful, but he was afraid of something. And you think, what could he be afraid of? He was afraid that God's people, the Israelites, that they were too many of them, and so he was afraid that they would become more powerful than he was. So he decided to make them all slaves and work them very hard, and he also came out with a declaration that every male child from the Israelites would have to be drowned in the Nile River. Now, this was a horrible thing to have to live with. And there was one Israelite woman that knew that she had to do something to save her male baby. And so she decided to make a basket. And her daughter, Miriam, helped her to make this basket out of reeds. And she put mud and tar on it so it could go and float safely in the water. And so when the baby was a few months old, they put him in the basket and they took him down to the Nile River close to a spot where Pharaoh's daughter would come and bathe in the mornings. So they put him into the water and Miriam went over and watched as the princess came and she saw something in the water and she asked her servant to go over and uh, retrieve it for her and she brings it over and she says oh my this must be a baby of an Israelite family and uh, I am going to keep this baby and raise him as my son and keep him safe. Miriam overheard that and she knew that Moses was going to be safe. The princess named the baby Moses because that meant coming out of the water. So Moses lived in Pharaoh's palace uh, until he grew up to be a man. And during this time, life became worse and worse for the Israelites. But eventually, however, Moses helped to free these people, God's people, so that they could leave Egypt. And now there was something that these people could be happy about and not that they had hope and would not be fearful all the time. Now, just as God used Moses, Moses's mother and his sister Miriam and the Pharaoh's daughter to help save Moses, later God uses Moses to help the Israelites escape from Egypt. Now, God calls on all of us to give help and hope to other people. There are many things that we can do to help other people. Through Colonial, there are many projects that you could be a part of to help other people. But um, also you could do something just in your own home or at school when you find someone that is sad or unhappy or alone. For instance, if someone's standing alone on the playground, you could go over and ask them if they'd want to play. Or if someone's being sad, you could tell them uh, a funny story or just strike up a conversation with them to make them feel that they're not so alone. God always wants you to know that you should have it in your heart to help others and to be kind to them. Now, I have a prayer this morning, and at the end of the prayer, we're going to raise our arms up and say, Thank you, God. Here we go. Dear God, whenever we are sad, you are with us. Whenever we are afraid, you are with us. Whenever we need help, you are with us. You send people to help us, and you call us to help others. Help us to always remember that no matter what happens, you are here with us. Thank you, God. All right, I thank you for listening to me this morning, and I hope you have a great week. See you soon. Bye.